All right, so what is up, everybody on YouTube? This is Bullet RC, and I'm coming to you guys again with video another yet. And this time, as you can see, we got another box in, and when it has those stripes on it, you already know what it is. It's from Nike Store. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so you guys just see me unbox these bad boys right here. Now these are the, I heard three names for them. I've heard Vachetta, I've heard Vachetta, and I've heard Vachetta. And I'm gonna go for with the one that I think sounds most expensive. So we're just gonna stick with Vachetta Tan Air Force One Mid. Um, now there were also, I think, four other colorways in navy blue and all white, uh, black, and, and what was it, a red. Um, and the funny thing is, there was another pair of shoes that actually came out with the same exact basic colorways. Um, another Nike Lab um, premium nice leather on them, which is the Air Flight 89. And it's funny because I didn't say anything about the Air Flight 89 until now, I guess, because I knew that shoe, I felt like that shoe would hit like clearance or something or a sale or something like that. So I just was waiting around. And then they unveiled the Air Force One mids in the same colorways, the tans with the nice leathers, all white on the outsole, the midsole. I don't think I don't know if the uh, I don't think the um, the Flight 89s have this. So the all iced out bottom with the Nike on the top. I don't think the Flight 89s have that on them. Um, but if you guys aren't a fan of the Force version, there's also the Air Flight 89, and I'll leave a link down below as well. And also, if some people were asking me about the um, Oreo 1.0s, or some people call them the cookies and cream fine racers. I believe some of those are back up on Nike too, so I'll leave a link just in case anyone wants to check those out. But the, this was like the only color that sold out, um, and I was probably gonna go back and try to either get the navy blue. I, I honestly like all of them, um, but they were 165 a piece, so I couldn't get all of them. Um, if I had to rank them in colorways, I definitely would have got the tan first. Um, either either the navy blue or the black next, then the red, um, then the white, and I'm probably missing out on one, but regardless, it doesn't matter. The quality on these joints is superb. I really don't notice anything, anything on mine at all. And the craziest thing is that I almost missed them. And I actually have a little, uh, a, a little situation going on with this pair as well. So what happens is I don't say anything about this release because I'm hoping that it just flies under the radar. I can get on Nike Lab grab my forces and then talk about it um so i'm sitting there all day on i forgot what day it was but i'm waiting from the release and i literally left out my house got a subway came back and forgot about the release and got on my computer at 108 and if you guys don't know with nike lab when it says sold out that doesn't necessarily mean it's sold out it just means that the computer the way it's looking the cards add up it thinks it's sold out but what will happen is if you keep refreshing, sometimes sizes will pop up and you can still check out, which is what happened with this pair. Now this pair is actually a size 11. I tried on the right pair and I think I'm gonna need an 11 and a half. So I'm gonna be looking for those. Um, if anyone has it, just email me. I'll leave my email down below if you got tag pictures. Um, you know what I'm saying? If you're looking for an 11 and you need an 11 and a half, let me know, but I'm not paying resale for these because I, I, I have a pair right here. Um, but I ended up getting an 11 and then I bought the 11 and then I was refreshing the page after it sold out and I got through on an 11 and a half. But what happened was it was in my cart and then Nike started telling me that, you know, I had too much, the quantity was too high. When the quantity was only one, I don't know if it was tracking my other order because I had already purchased one or it was just an error in general with the site. So I was just sitting there for, I mean, minutes on tens, tens of twenties of minutes trying to check out this 11 and a half. Um, because that's probably the size I needed because this shoe is all leather inside and out. Um, and the Force is already kind of a, I think in some cases, a shoe that runs big. So when you add an all leather inside, all leather shoe is going to run even bigger. Um, just like my Pagal or Pagale, whichever one, I always mess it up. Um, forces, they run pretty small. But I mean, if, if worse comes to worse, I might just have to figure out how to flex an 11 in these bad boys. But anyways, that is it, guys. Remember, 
There is an Air Flight 89 version of this. There's also more of these, not in this colorway, but other colorways as well. Um, I just wanna say that if you get them, you will not be disappointed. Yo, the leather from the tumble leather to the smooth leather is superb. I'll get a little bit closer for you guys. Just check out this kick. It is fireworks. Shout out to Dallas Penn. Anyways, that is it. Much love to all the fam, followers, and supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snups, here, there, Blase, Blah, and of course, Bullet RC. I'm gonna see you guys next video. Y'all be easy. Peace.